Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm back with another of my World Series champion White Sox from 1991, based off cards that I actually sent to Strat based on the statistics from my actual season. And I put those into the computer as a team, as a computer team, and now we are playing today against the 1996 New York Yankees in New York and it is going to be Jack McDowell for my White Sox against David Cohn for the Yankees. So let's get going. I'll turn the sound down. And there's David Cohn. There's Coney. And Cole leading off against him, and looks like he's going to bounce out to second base. And Puckett's up. Kirby Union Gap Puckett, and he strikes out. And that brings up Danny Pasqua, who had a great game the last game. If you missed it, you should go back and check it out. He had a really great game. But we went 1-2-3 right there, and now McDowell is pitching to the Yankee lineup. Leading off is... Wade box and uh, he is out and that brings up Bernie Williams and he is, is on hmm he walked up all right Polly O'Neill And that should be a fly out. And it is. And that brings up Cecil Fielder. And he walks. And so now Tino Martinez is up with two on and two down. And he rips a hit, it looks like. But it's only a one base base hit. And that brings up Daryl Strawberry, the straw man. And it looks like he'll be out. So they come away with nothing, although they do threaten in the first. And that brings up Kevin Moss, no Moss. My 65 home run hitter. And he might have just gone deep and hit one of those 65 home runs. And he did. And it is one nothing. my White Sox with Wallach up against Coney. Might be a hit. No, it is. So Ozzie Gian's up, the shortstop. And he is going to fly out. No, he, he didn't. He couldn't get it. All right, so Ron Oster's up with one out and Gian aboard. And he's going to rip a hit. And I'm just going to let um, Gian stop at second. John Russell is up, the catcher. And that's a double play. So there are, um, and so here comes the Yankees with Mariano Duncan up. And that will be a fly out. And Joe Girardi is now up, the manager of the Phillies. You may know him as, because that's what he is going into next year. And he flies out. And that brings up the newest Hall of Famer, Derek Jeter. And he is on with a walk. And that brings up Wade Boggs. And we are going to try to throw to get him out. We might as well. And... Uh, he did not get him. So Wade Boggs is up now with Jeter only 90 feet away. And that was a bad idea. So now the game's tied. Bernie Williams is up with Boggs at first. And that is it. 
So we got Mullenix up in a tie game in the top of the third, leading off the top of the third. And he strikes out, and that brings up Alex Cole to face Tony, who is now, I believe, a New York Yankees announcer. And then that brings up Kirby Union Gap Puckett again. And he will probably fly out. And that'll do it for us in the third. And uh, McDowell goes back out there to pitch to Polly O'Neill, who is also, I believe, a Yankees announcer. And he is walk. What is up with McDowell walking everybody? All right, Cecil Fielder's up. And Cecil Fielder will fly out, hopefully. And yes, that brings up Tino Martinez with an out and. And, uh, and O'Neill at first, and he rips a hit. But it's only a one base hit, so there's runners at first and second with one out, and Daryl, the straw man, and Strawberry is up. And that'll be a fly out to Puckett. And that brings up Mariano Duncan. He is out. So we go to the top of the fourth, Dan Pasqua leading off for us and he strikes out mas no mas and he's gonna swing away because he hit a home run last time doing that and he might have hit no he probably flying out to the deal and that is two down and that brings up timmy wallet And he is going to rip a hit. So with Wallach aboard, we got Guillen up and two outs in the top of the fourth in a 1-1 one -one game. And what is that? And it's a throw in the dirt, so he's on by an error. That brings up Ron Oster. And we had two aboard and two down, and that's probably going to be an out. And it is. And now McDowell back out to the mound to continue working here in the bottom of the fourth to Girardi, the uh, manager of the Phillies. Fly out to Cole. And that brings up Derek Jeter, the newest Hall of Famer again. And he is just beat it out. And now Wade Boggs is aboard. And this time Jeter dropped down to 50% and couldn't get a lead. And that brings up Boggs with him aboard and one out. And that's going to be a fly out for Boggs. And now Bernie Williams. And he strikes out. So John Russell's up against Coney. And he is, is that a hit? Yeah, drops in for a hit. Nice. Mullenix up. And that's a strikeout. Strikeout if I ever saw. Alex Cole up, Russell aboard, one out. And he strikes out. Now that brings up Kirby Union Gap. Okay. And he is out looks like and now back out to the mound goes jack black jack mcdowell in the bottom of the fifth in a one one game one error for each side and five hits to four but now somebody just went deep o'neill looks like he's going to get at least a double out of that and he does that brings up cecil fielder And that's a ball. And so now there's two guys on and no outs. And McDowell's in trouble here with Tino Martinez. Up. And Tino Martinez gets a hit. But that loads the bases. I am going to say, um, let's see, position defense. And I'm going to say set the infield back. We're going to play for the double play. With straw man up. 
And of course he gets a hit and it doesn't work. And now the infield will come in with the score two to one and no outs. And uh, that apparently did work to cut off the run, but now the corners are in. And that may not be a double play. No, it is. It is. Nice. All right. So we got out of that okay for considering how the inning started. It's two to one now. New York in the, in the top of the sixth with Pasqua up. And he is out. And that brings up Moss, and he'll swing away. And he is that out? Yeah. And now Wallach's up with two down and nobody on. And we're losing two one. And that is an out. And now Jeter is up against McDowell. In the bottom of the sixth, New York clinging to a 2-1 lead. That's going to be a fly out to Cole. And that brings up Wade Boggs. And Wade Boggs looks like he's going to ground out. And that brings up Bernie Williams. And he's... Got a hit? Yes, he does. O'Neal's up, and Bernie Williams drops to 50% because he couldn't get a lead at first. With O'Neal up, and he hits a, gets a base hit. And what happened there? Was it an error? Yep, single plus E9 scores him. And there's two outs, but they're now they're ahead 3-1. to one. And that's a fly out. So, we have to come back here. We're in the top of the seventh, down by two now instead of just one. With Guillen up, and he walked. That brings up Oster. And they're going to bring in Mariano Rivera already. Really? Hmm. Maybe this was the year Wetland was the closer. All right, so Oster's now on uh, board with Russell. And Russell's going to be probably out to a double play. Yep. Okay, well, I'm going to send McDowell back out there. It's only three to one. Um, and really, the run, one of those runs probably scored because of an error, not really anything McDowell did. Strawberry up with one out in the bottom of the seventh. And nobody on. And he's out on strikes, and that brings up uh, Duncan. Mariano Duncan. He will be thrown out. And now Mullenix is up to lead off against uh, Mariano Rivera, and he's going to have a base hit. And I am not going to try to extend it. So Mullenix aboard with Cole up. And now they're, of course, they're going to Wetland now. Yes, this was a year, this was one of the years where the Yankees had Wetland in wet. We got a base hit. Cole got a base hit off Wetland and runners at the corners with Puckett up and no outs. And probably an out into a double play. Yes, but at least we got a run. So now we're back with N1 and Pask was up against Wetland. And he got a base hit. And that brings up Moss, right? Yeah, all right. Moss. If Moss can go deep, we'll take the lead. And did he? No. All right. So um, I'm, I'm keeping him out there. I'm keeping McDowell out there in the eighth. Pitch to Girardi with us only down by a run, and Girardi gets a hit somehow. And now Jeter is up, and Jeter's going to punt over, and that's one out with Boggs up. And 
and he strikes out. So that was that was key right there. And now Bernie Williams is up with two outs and Girardi at second. And it looks like he's going to pop out to Moss. And we are coming up in the ninth, down by a run against Wetland with Wallach up. And he strikes out. Okay, Gian up. I guess I'll let Gian hit. I'm not really crazy about that idea, but I will. And he is going to be out. All right, I need somebody to hit a home run, and it's not Oster. So we are going to pinch hit Lloyd Mosby. And see if he can get us a run right now. And he did. So we lose two to one. Or three to two. Three to two. Buy a run. And there you go. There's the uh, box score. How everybody did. McDowell went eight, gave up ten hits, one earned run. But he walked five. That was really bad outing for him and uh so yeah we lost three to two and so i believe that makes me let's see we were two and two coming into this game so now we're two and three so my world champion white Sox are two and three that's crazy all right, well, anyway, uh, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.